What are going on everybody? Today we're in Helsha and there's nothing like coming to Helsha for some fried lobster. And why is that important? Because it's the start of lobster season in Jamaica. Lobster season been out and on the 1st of July, start of lobster season. So we're here to try out some of them fried lobster and some of them garlic lobster. What Helsha is known for. So I don't know if it's the oil that makes it so good or something else in the seasoning or it's just a freshness because we're right on the sea but there are a whole heap of restaurants around here all different restaurants which are known throughout jamaica you have acne's you have screeches we'll be checking out those two today and seeing how them do the fried lobster how them do them fish and of course some of that lovely festival to go with it Heading round the back to screech, this is where you have to go through. If you know, you know, and then you're heading. And then walk around now. And then the kitchen opens up here. So this is the lobster that they have here. And basically they just open them out and put the seasoning inside them. I mixed up their seasoning blends and then it's going to go right into that bath. Those lobsters gone into that pot and you can tell that oil is extra hot. The smell start coming up as well. Once it gets down into that and fries down and cooked down, not a long frying process, not a long cooking process on it. And then it's smothered with escovite sauce after that. There's nothing like a Hellsha fried lobster. And I can tell you, I can't wait for this. It's the start of lobster season. It's been a while since we've been out here. I don't think I've been here since March. So look at that. Wow. That's a fish right here that we're frying out right there. Look at that. Drain him off. I want him to drain off. He's gone over. Yeah, chef. Yeah, man. I'm just have to place them down in there now. I remember Mark described this as a jacuzzi tub of just greatness, and that's exactly what it is. It's just a big pot of oil that they're putting them back into to bathe with all that flavor and seasoning that they have rubbed in there. That festival, I don't know what them do with the mix. I think they want to do one butter, but it's almost like so soft, so tender. Almost like a donut. Food of epic proportions going on around here. I mean, in one side you have the fish, in the other side you have the lobster, and it's just a huge pot with oil that's in there. The smell that's coming out of the kitchen. I mean, there's lobster, there's fish, there's the festival that's going on down here, and it's just a good vibes, the pot behind me is on fire. It's just a whole heap of things are going on and it's a start of lobster season. I'm just put that bummy right in that pot with the steamed fish. Add a little extra water in there now and make it go and cook down. Look at that. What a beautiful sight man. Look how beautiful that looks. The kitchen is hot, the kitchen has a whole heap of things going on in there. As I said, there's a lobster to one side, there's a fish to the other side and there are steam fish as well. So we're here for the fried lobster, I mean it's lobster season, but we're having some fish as well. I hear the escovite sauce, well I don't hear, I know the escovite sauce here is boss. They have it and they have the pepper with it and they have the onions and things cut up. So we're just waiting now. We saw that process when it goes into that pot. I don't know if it's something in the oil that makes it so special, the seasoning or what it is, but we're going to try screeches fried lobster to start lobster season and then we're going to head over to Aunt May's and try some of hers as well.
it's a parrot, no, it's a parrot. So it's quite simple, you drive down, you go up to the counter, you order what you want. They have fresh fish, they have lobster, they have all sorts of things down here at Screeches. What's popular down here is the fried lobster and their escovite sauce is really, really good. So we're just going to, we're waiting on the food now. As soon as that lobster come out, we're going to dive in. It's going to be my first lobster for lobster season. I'm happy to be able to have it down here at Helsha. So before we dive into this, I mean, it's the start of lobster season. There's nothing better than that. But this festival that I have down here, at Screeches, I can tell you that it's something crazy, it's something magnificent, it's so soft and tender. It's almost like a donut, the how tender and soft it is. When you break it apart, it just is so soft. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a Krispy Kreme donut that I used to get and I can't find anymore, but it reminds me of a Krispy Kreme donut. That dough is just ready to soak up all of that flavor from that escovitch sauce and it's savory, sweet, with a little heat. Man, that's something special. I mean, I travel here just for this dough. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for this part, boy. This right here, so, at the money is what we're looking for. This is the fried lobster from Screeches. Escovitch sauce, smothered on top, scotch bonnet pepper, onions, and pimento in there as well. So, I've been waiting for a while for lobster season to start so I can come and try this. Look at that, that scotch bonnet pepper, that's onions, that's all of that goodness with that vinegar and some pimentos in there to make sure so that lobster is soaked in. We're gonna try dig out that just a twist and you see how well cooked it is. Everything just comes out with one twist of the fork and you have all that lobster meat. I will make sure it dip up in some of that escovitch sauce. But we have to pack it up. We can't just have it like that. So you know, this is a dirty thing where you have to get your hands dirty. Want a little bit of scotch bonnet pepper, a little bit of the carrots and pile up and make a nice, nice rose. Look at that. So this is going to be my first bite for lobster season into this Escovitch lobster fried here at Screeches and then Escovitch sauce smothered on top, onions, scotch bonnet pepper, little bit of carrot and you know we have to have the vinegar on it. So let's see how the first bite of lobster season in Jamaica. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Virgin. Daddy come home, daddy come home, lobster is back, yo, the lobster is fried beautiful, it's not tough, it's nicely seasoned, it, that, that sauce on it though, with the scotch bonnet and everything just gives it a perfect blend, to me there's nothing like adding, adding that sauce with that flavor onto the lobster, not over seasoned, not a lot of seasoning, you're basically tasting the sea, it's right there, cooked right there and then come and plate it here. The taste of the lobster is absolutely stupendous. A lot of people wonder what makes Helsha lobster so good. A lot of people used to say it's the oil. You see that that was brand new oil that they just cooked it in and I can tell you it has the same great taste that we had when Mark was here and Ras Kitchen was here with us and Joel was here and we were eating that piece of a food right here on this table. I mean lobster is back and it's better than ever. You can see the seasoning on it. So all of that is that seasoning that's been cooked down and fried onto it, almost big. You always hear me talk about the chips that carry all that flavor. These are the burnt parts that basically is a flavor bomb because it might be a mixture of the seasoning, whatever seasoning they use. When that seasoning touches that fire, or touches that oil, it comes out and that part crisps up and it just packs intense flavor into the lobster and into the meat itself. So looking forward to that. And look at that. It's like a lobster flagship sailing. After that, back to this. I don't want to call this a festival. It's a festive donut. That's what this is. Mm. Wow. Yeah, man. Yeah, full my belly here. 
I have one more stop to make. There's another famous spot on Helsha Beach that we're going to check out, and that's Aunt Mays. Aunt Mays has been around here for as long as I can remember before my, I even reached my knee. And Screeches is one that we have to stop at any time I come down here. Big them up, everybody that works in there is always so hospitable. Always good service and always good vibes. So big up the staff at Screeches and we come now, we head over to Aunt Mays. They say that's a roll through with that, BG. How are you going to carry that, bro? Mm, I'm going to cook him now. Are you going to cook that now? Yeah. Mad, mad, mad. <laughs> How are you going to cook him? Eh? Do what it is. How are you going to cook him? I'm going to cook him. Curry. Curry up? Yeah. All right. So there is always something going on down here. Just a man that run past with a lobster a while ago. And carry almost and knock me down seat that you think I drop. Man just rub cross with a lobster and say, him running to go curry it. Or next man I walk up now with a next lobster. It's just a vibe down here at Helsha. What do you do with this lobster, my boss? I get it selling here, no, I say, I want to get it lobster. I want to get the garlic and butter sauce for somebody deep fried. I think I cook coconut you, I go cook it. Yeah, man, I mean, do it. Any man. style like that? Any style. Coconut curry, garlic and butter sauce for the deep fry, any style. Anything. Curry. Any style, alright, there's some of the totties ones. Totties. Oh, the same man just run across to the totties. Carl, the filling card. Yeah, man, heart of love as always, you know. Right thing we are doing. Bless up. You don't know. Respect, brother. Undoubtedly, one of the most popular places on Helsha Beach is Aunt Mays. People come from all over the world, not just the island, to come and sample her food. It's cooked on a wood fire. So that's totally different flavor profile than what you would get on a gas fire or a gas stove. This is some place that's iconic on the beach here. It's a place that people, as I said, come wide and far to come and try the lobster, the fish, all sorts of different things that she have going on in the kitchen. There's a whole heap of variety in the cooler. There are different species of fish. There are different sizes lobster and then around the back, it's just a seating area right on the water where you can look at the beach in Helsha or you can see many different things going on. You have different vendors coming up. Sometimes you catch oyster man, you all have pepper shrimp man, all sorts of things going on. But once you get inside there, the smell hits you from outside the kitchen. Sorry. The smell hits you from outside. Thank you. <laughs> the smell hits you from outside and it just calls you right into the kitchen and that wood fire, as I said, it's a total different flavor. Once that goes into the oil, maybe that is how the oil now comes into play where they say the oil at Helsha Beach is what gives the fish and the lobster that, that, that great flavor and that great taste. So let's go inside and see what I want. Look at that. I tell you. Look at that. No job. You have different varieties. Missy lean snapper, Missy regular snapper, red snapper, yellow, yellow tail, parrot, everything. You are good fish in there? I like it if you have a good fish in there. But I take one of that fry right now. A two, a two cooler. <laughs> a two cooler. You can't stop. I, you can look at that. See, watch her, watch her, watch her, watch her, watch her, watch her. I mean, it's a good. Yeah, it's a good there. Everything, yeah, man, and as always, that's good. That's it, right there. Look up, look on the item, look how fresh, look how fresh. That's it, that's it, yeah, man. Yeah, man, yeah, man, man, yeah, man. I mean, mad. You want a bigger one? You can swap out to a little one for a bigger one. Fresh out of this, you can tell. Look at the eyes, look at everything. Fresh, ready. Fresh, ready from right there, so to right there, so to right there. So. I'm out there. <laughs> All right. Mrs. Sonny, I'm not so many. I'm fresh. Two each. Two each. Yeah. So right in the kitchen, as I tell you, is a wood fire that they use and then they have the freshest fish that I've seen 
Look at that, just bathing in a pot that looks well seasoned. Look how seasoned that pot looks. And underneath is a flame. And look at those lobsters right there. Wow. Those are my lobster? Yeah. My lobster, them now? Yeah. All right. You ready for me? Garlic butter. Yeah. Garlic butter. That with a touch, right? Yeah. What you recommend? The garlic butter? Yeah. Run it then. Yeah, man. I'd love that. Little pepper, half a dip on it. Maybe not a little, maybe a lot of pepper. So here in the kitchen at Aunt Mia's, I can tell you, it's just an iconic restaurant and one of my favorite things about it is the actual wood fire that they used to cook on. You can see it there, it's just frying right on and the flavor is smoking up. Inside the kitchen is not a lot of smoke. I hope that smoke goes into the oil, into the pot though, make sure that flavor really hit it. But it's just smelling and it's a flavor bomb. The fried fish going on, the lobster over here and then no, we're going to have that with some not bummy, but we're going to have it with some festival as well. So we're going garlic lobster right now. So hopefully the garlic lobster, them say we can put on a little scotch bonnet pepper. Not a little, you know, we want a little extra than a little scotch bonnet pepper onto that. Are the whole tub that? Small one. Are the small one this? The small The smell of that though, you can smell the scotch bonnet pepper. The onions definitely ragging. Natural vinegar. Natural vinegar, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just plopping some of that festival into that bath and making it fry up till it get golden brown and crispy on the outside and that half smooth sweet inside to go with oh and bami as well. So basically I'm taking it up, draining off the oil off of it and making sure that most of the oil comes off and then putting it down so it sits again, the oil drains off and then after that it's just sweet, sweet, fresh fried fish to try. Give that bami a nice turn, flip over the festival, it's constant work and it's constant heat over this wood fire. I'm right next to the fire, I can tell you the heat coming off of it is special. I'm loading back one right here, putting more fire onto it. Add a little oil to spice it up. right back onto it, let that oil get back up to temperature and start dealing with the lobster now. Right on the chopping board. Yo, the man make that look easy. You know, so easy as it look, you know. It really not so easy as it look. Learn something new, so he really does crack the top. Never even have to cut through the hard part. He really does crack it and then let it flood open. And now we're going out with some of the insides, cleaning it out. And then soak it back now. What that now? No, man, I wash it, I wash it. Just a wash off. Right, the first wash, the next wash, the real wash. It's meticulous, they're picking out all of the inside, make sure so everything in there clean. And then it's a two wash process, that's the first wash himself, and then it can get another wash. That's just water or salt, what kind of water? It's just the water. Just the water itself. Mm -hmm. 
Bonnie ready now, just come out, let it rest, let some of that oil seep off. So once it comes out of that pot, after that heat and bath in that oil, it goes right here to sit and once it sits there now, they let the oil drain off a little bit and then it's plated and served right after that. Don't forget about my goldfish. Yeah man. Same treatment, just different water for it. Basically slicing it, putting it right down to the bone. So when I'm seasoning it, that seasoning reach right down into the bone right there. And this is the seasoning mix now. This is the Art Mills famous seasoning mix. And bathe it, smother it all over, make sure it gets into the grooves, into that slice. And then I straight over there after that. Right into that bath. I want another seasoning there. Look like seawater. The whole of hell shine there. The black pepper salt, little sea water, little sea sand. Yeah, man. Yeah. You want, what you say? If they want one, then just have to forward and try it. No joke. And just check that oil by throwing the water off from that. No, man, see that. Load it off. Just, going in just like that, no seasoning or nothing. Season already? We yeah. missed the seasoning on that. Same season for the fish go up on the lobster. There you have it. You have to stay back because it's going to pop. There's actual water that's in the lobster, so all of that has to come out. So what happened? Once you hear that the fire start to die down with the sizzle, you just flip it. There's a time in the night, you know. But that time in the night, yeah. Over there. Yeah, man. There's nothing like that sound once you go in there and pop and that smell that come off of it. Hear that pop there. Once that pop goes in there man and you hear that sound and that start to go. And the smell that come off of it, the smell that come off of it is nothing but freshness after that. You smell that fresh lobster creeping up. I have no scent of seasoning that's coming up. No smell of that, it's just good lobster that you smell it. Just some of the garlic sauce gone onto the fire now. Stir up just a quick heat on that garlic sauce. 
And this is what we call the money shot, smother on. Wow, the smell is just intense garlic. It smells so good. It's like a garlic bomb just bursting in your nose when you pour it out and heat it up just that little bit. Just waiting and smothering it all over that. Make sure the flavor touches every part of the lobster meat. That quick fry goes in there and then the garlic sauce on top of it. Mm, wow, oh my god. Now yeah, man. Now you see it. Now you see it. Now it's almost like basing it with that oil. I tell you that that oil, people tell me all the time it's the oil, get the food and fix it. Pop. Yeah, man. And just like basing that oil back onto it so it fry on the inside, fry on the outside, fry upside down, fry with it on it back. Continue just putting that oil like basing that lobster meat. So me and Keisha from Aunt May is sitting down and we bought for a whole lot of reason and she's going to tell us about this restaurant that I think she says has been here for over 45 years. Keisha, how are you doing? Not bad. Tell me about your restaurant now. Tell me about uh, Aunt My Mays. mom was here for like 45 years. Yeah. But you know, she passed two years ago. Mm -hmm. So I, me and my brother took it over from that point until now. Yeah, okay. and you know, still continue the legacy, right. still continue yeah. the tradition. And from my leave school, I'm out here with her. How long, how long? I leave school 2001. So it's still the lobster, what's the with most the popular lobster, thing? With the lobster, fish, steam fish, roast fish, brown stew fry, with the garlic crab, shrimp, curry shrimp. We work like Monday, every mm -hmm. other Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, man. And, and you can call in for your order at 438 there we go. 9896 or 438. Go again for me 438 9896 or 880 0499. And on Instagram, anything like that? Aunt Me Fish Place on Instagram. Aunt Me Fish Place yeah. on Instagram. And we have a location in Florida, in what? Broward. In Broward? Yeah. You have a location in our brother? Yeah, my sister do it up there. Tell your sister may I come check her next week. Okay, I'll tell her. I'm dead serious. Yeah, man. All right? Yeah. Thanks, Keisha. Okay. Go on, Misha. Hi, hello. So we have to tell everybody how we met. We're literally just walking. I saw him and I was eating my fish and my festival all in my head and I said, hmm, this is the food blogger. <laughs> and I just had to stop him and let him know that I love his YouTube channel. I watch it Thank all the you. time and it was meant to be to see each other. Thank here. you. So we have to sit down and eat our fish. After that, just a random experience out here in Helsha. You know, so we have to take up and sample a fish with Misha and see what I go on. Misha, dig in with your hand. Let's take oh. one of these. This is a goat fish. This is the fresh fish. This is fish. a fresh goat fish. We could just take one and see what I go on. You can even hold it up and show them to it. Hold fresh. It yeah, man. We we'll hold it up and show them. Nice, nice, nice goat fish. You ever had a goat fish? Goat? Yeah, fish. No. You had curry goat? No. You never have curry goat? Once. No, man, I forgot to I'm a yellowtail girl, but I'm going to give the goat fish a day yellow, today. Where, where you live in the city? Miami. That's why you're a yellowtail girl, man. Was that right? <laughs> All right. But I'll give the goat fish a try. Okay. But we can't do the goat fish without the pepper sauce. No, we have... We can't. Heavy on the pepper sauce. Heavy upon the pepper sauce. Yeah, man. All right, you're going to go ahead and put it on there. I saw you need with the yellowtail on Miami, too. Oh yeah, for sure. But I go to all places and just grab the pepper sauce back. Just grab it and go on through. Yeah man, I'll smother it all over. Whole heap of scotch bonnet, whole heap of sauce on it. 
don't want to take her in this time. Scotch bonnet. Yeah, man. The whole thing. Yep. Bad guy. <laughs> you know, me not try that. Spicy guy. I not going to try that. I, why? I can't make it out. I can't make it out. Chicken. You know, bad. Nice flavor. Favorite. Very yeah, man. Come back away now, the fish now. Make it soak a little. Make it go down in there. You gone in the fish before me? I love fishing. You love fishing? Yeah. I love catching, not fishing. I love catching. I fish. do love fishing though. I go and try the goat fish now. It's very what do you good. Think about it? It's very tender. Very tender and it's almost like there's juice in the meat. It's not it's flaky still. It's not like a yellowtail where the snapper is a little drier. A little more flaky than this. It's very moist inside. But this is moist. Yeah man. Fried to perfection. Mm. This is the first time I eat it at Miss Maze on camera and I can tell you. The chef did a hell of a job. Great job. Yeah. Chef did a great the job. The seasoning is perfect. I mean the salt and pepper that's on that seasoning that we saw going there. But we have to pair it up with some of the onion and the scotch bonnet now. The onions. The onion, this is just like in Florida, this is Spanish influence in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So Escovich comes from Escoviche, which was from when 1494 when Columbus came to Jamaica. It's no longer Spanish, I feel we know we'd capture that. And what I like about the sauce, the pepper sauce, mm. it gets better and better with time. Every time. It once gets it's better soaked, and better with time. Once it's soaked, man, soak it just age. Yeah, once you put it on and let it soak, like anything, fine wine. Fine wine. But I mean hold up two pieces of fish. That's how you tell a fish is perfectly cooked when it comes off of the bone like that and there's just bone left. Whether it's steamed, whether it's fried, from it easily comes off of the bone like that. That's a well cooked fish, a perfectly cooked fish. Fresh. Fresh fish by its tail. Mm. And then the crunch. You crunch on the tail too? Yeah, man, I remember everything except the eye. Nice to come back down there at me. I'll big up, Misha. For stopping by having some of this fish with us, make we know how the flavors say how everything set. Hey, say, you try goat fish again? This is the best fish I have. See that? The me best done, fish. Me done, me done. Lock off the camera. Me done, me done, me done. Me done, me done, done, done. You guys come out. It done. I can sit here all day. Just keep the fish coming, Mr. Chef. Keep the fish cooking. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Was this pleasure. was such a pleasure. Your pineapple logo, love it. Yes. The re up Miami. Got a food truck in Miami. Please come out and see us. We have just American soul food. It is lamb chops, lobster tails. We have fresh conch fritters. We have conch salad. We have yeah, call salmon. Right. That's we have, nothing. you got to come out and try it. That's nothing. This is so great. Yeah, man. Thank you again. You see this? Jano, shall put me to all on the map for coming at this quick. <laughs> you got to catch up. Down the bone, crunch it up. <laughs> Almost here. Well, before I kill myself, <laughs> I catch up and eat fish bone. Thank you again, Misha. Thank you so Look much. Look forward to pleasure. seeing you at the food truck. Thank you. I can't wait. Respect, man. Hey, hey Matt. What's your, I'm sorry. What's your name? <laughs> Amanda Robinson. That's right. Forgot about that. <laughs> you forgot. I didn't forget. I just wanted to know your name. See if you forgot. Just check in. Look at this. All right. Wow. So this is what we're Perfect. actually here for. It's leaking and oozing. You see that drip drip? You got to get your hands right. dirty. Can we start now? <laughs> no, show the camera. You have to show them. We don't know no beauties or no little shake with it. Or get it on like a tick. Well, you, yeah, hold it up. <laughs> All right, so this is garlic lobster. You are not the biggest lobster fan. I'm not, but this looks so good when it was coming out with all the seasoning. You can just see the, the, the chopped up, you can see the garlic, and it smells too good to resist. So I have to put up my hair for it. Okay, lady food boss. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, but you using a fork? I'm not going to use any fork. I just going to rip it off. I mean, we just came from screeches where there's no. Look at that. Wow. Oh, that's the money right there. All right. Show me how to do it. So basically you twist, right? And pull up so you get that part out there. Ah, there you go. 
And then you have to get under after. Okay. Get under after so that it just pulls right off. Okay, so away from the shell, I'm yeah. sticking my finger in and just pulling it out. Wow. After that, you're left with this. This is the money shot right there. So this is the lobster, that's the garlic sauce that's all on it, Mandy. You have to wait to eat. <laughs> you have to show them what the garlic sauce that's on it. You smell the garlic, you smell how potent it is. So good. Yeah, it smells like a garlic. I don't taste it yet, all right. Mm. Yo. I thought Escobiche was good, but wow. <laughs> this, the, the garlic. The, the sweetness of the festival and that salty garlic of the bomb show. Savory and sweet. The combination is beautiful. Yeah, man, it just goes perfect. So and it's so cooked, it cooks so perfect. And you always hear me talk about the flavor pockets. Those little dark spots, that's the bomb right there. That's where all that flavor comes from, when that pop, oh man. The seasoning that's on it is absolutely perfect. The garlic sauce, there is something just ridiculously stupendous and amazing about this garlic sauce. I see why people come here, travel here from Miami, travel here from all over to basically taste this garlic sauce. I thought I was going hard with the Escovitch sauce with that pepper, mm -hmm. but I might have to go balance up and order some more garlic now. It's so good. Hold on, you don't feel that too? Almost. I'm going in a festival. While, we, while you were talking. <laughs> yeah, so I'll feel and I get no bad. Garlic onion. A little scallion in there. I'm not get the rest of them thing, but I'm sure I can decipher exactly what is in there. But I can tell you that it's very flavorful. Oh my. That's the way you do it. <laughs> That's how you get it done. Look at that, that's gorgeous. That's a proud husband right here. <laughs> the seasoning is even just falling off. It's so packed onto there, so much flavor, it's just... It really... Up to the left. Remember we have to talk to the mic right here? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> she took our mic off. Mm. I'm coming, baby. I want a festival. A festival with it. The sweet with the savory. Fabulous. I don't even know if that was right and I just pulled that one out my hat. I bet you're not up on me now. Oh, look how beautiful that is. <laughs> look how gorgeous that is. That's perfect. And on the other side. That color, beautiful. That color. Tell you, Sashina, give me one. What is it? Not? Oh, she can eat. <laughs> she can eat. Like I'm eating and then I'm tasting the freshness of the lobster and then all of a sudden I get this burst of flavor because all the seasoning is at the top. So it's, it's a mix of fresh and it's, it's so good. And, and for me it's like when you're sitting at the table and you're eating and the puppy just looking at you waiting <laughs> to get some of the scraps, I'm that puppy now. <laughs> It's all good. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Enjoy. I thought you told me you didn't want it. I didn't. I said we could share. <laughs> it's alright. Go on, go on, go on. I'll the eat some of the fish. I'll eat some of the fish. But it's the That's start of lobster season. Me. It's the start of lobster season, so there'll be many more to come. You wouldn't think of garlic sauce going on to a fried lobster. You more hear about that going on to a grilled lobster when you smother that over the grill. Have that butter and that garlic infused into it. But with the fried lobster, it's absolutely perfect. The lobster becomes firm 
and it goes down into the crevices of the lobster into that meat and soaks and just is a sweet sweet flavor that you can't miss and that's something that you always hear for Helsha, you always hear around the place. Helsha is known for fried lobster, mm -hmm. but it's not just Escobich lobster, it's garlic lobster as well. Cheers, bro. Mm -hmm.